After days of demanding urgent action from Congress, today President Trump is telling his fellow Republicans to abandon immigration reform until after the election. In a tweet, he told fellow Republicans to, quote, stop wasting time on immigration. Meanwhile, thousands of migrant families separated at the border remain in limbo. The shift comes just two days after the president announced plans to end the policy that separated those families in the first place. Today, the administration claims nearly 500 children are now back with their parents. But questions still remain on how and when thousands more will be reunited. Now we're learning the government is looking to use military bases to house migrant families including a base here in Arizona. Team 12's Bram Resnick is verifying those claims and looking deeper into how these shelters are being maintained. Bram? Yeah, we could see a tent city in Yuma for those migrant children. The shelters already operating in Arizona are facing questions about what's going on inside. We verify the agency that licenses the shelters and their track record. Thousands of migrant children could be heading to tent cities at military bases, one of them in Yuma. The Pentagon is drawing up plans to house up to 20,000 children. Time magazine reports a tent city could pop up at the Marine Corps Air Station in Yuma. Meantime, there are unanswered questions about Arizona shelters taking in those children. We know that actually formal inspections are not taking place. Democratic no, State Representative not. Kelly Butler says she's asked the largest shelter provider, Texas-based Southwest Key, for a look inside. Hundreds of children are now coming into our state and we don't know what the staffing ratios are. We don't know if they're hiring qualified people. It's a huge concern. We verified that these Southwest Key shelters are licensed by the Arizona Department of Health Services, but there are no on-site inspections by the state. A 12 News review shows there were two serious infractions over the last three and a half years. A $1,000 fine for failing to get or verify employee fingerprint clearance cards and a $500 fine for improper use of restraints. This Tucson shelter has been in the news over allegations of misconduct, but there's been just one formal complaint in almost four years. We asked Southwest Key directly if we could access the facility to view what's going on. They did not allow that. And Kelly Butler and other House Democrats have also asked Governor Doug Ducey to require wellness checks at the Arizona shelters. Governor spokesman says he is reviewing that request. A Southwest Key spokeswoman declined to respond to questions about its shelters. And let's send it back to you.